today we're going to do one that is uh, just bone, acrylic color, mixed into straight into the epoxy. Uh, it's going to be one color with uh, some spray paint accents. It's going to be kind of a marble looking color. This is more of an ivory color than it is uh, white, but uh, it looks really good like this. Like I said, we're just going to take some of the, the bone and mix it in there. You don't need to really know how much you're putting in. I usually put a couple ounces in per, per container, but um, it just turns the color that it's going to turn and not a lot more. I mean, you wouldn't want to put four ounces into four ounces of epoxy. That would weaken it, but uh, a couple ounces in 48 is a, a good way to go. So we've got that all mixed up there. Take that and just spread it out over the top of the whole countertop. This is one a look that you could do over the top of a, another one if you had a, a different colored countertop and you got tired of it after a while or if, you, or if you just didn't like it at the beginning or whatever. You could use this method to just coat right over the top of, of whatever you already got there. You've already got the concrete on there so you don't need to worry about dissipating the heat. So you could just change the color. It's a, Great way to go for rentals and things like that because you know renters are tough on things and if they screwed it up and you needed to do something between rentals, this is a real fast and easy, cheap way to to fix anything that they might have done. And it can be done in any color and the the method that it is can be just really looks good with just about anything. You can just Spray paint and single line, another one, and another one. Just like we do with everything else, we just take that brush and kind of work it in. edges. And, uh, take that torch and five or ten minutes and then we'll you know torch it again one more time but as you can see that's a very impressive look very easy to do